How to unclog arteries and reverse heart plaque. If you've been told you have plaque in your arteries, you're also at risk for heart attack or stroke. And you've probably been told that once the plaque is there, you're stuck with it. That's wrong. By the end of this video, I'll walk you through three proven strategies. One diet fix, one exercise routine, and one essential supplement that doesn't just slow plaque, but actively shrinks it. Let's start with the surprising discovery about the stability of plaque itself. Most doctors focus on slowing down the buildup. But thanks to revolutionary new research, we now know that you can actually shrink and stabilize that dangerous arterial plaque. The key isn't a complex surgery. It's understanding that the natural process your body goes through to clean out its own plumbing works. Welcome or welcome back if you're returning. I'm Dr. John Chuback, a cardiovascular surgeon. Today we're changing the narrative from fear to action. We'll break down the two main types of plaque, the truth about reversal and the exact steps you can take to make your arteries healthier and more flexible. For decades, medical education emphasized that once atherosclerosis, plaque buildup, was established, it was permanent. This led to a lot of patient despair. The real breakthrough came from understanding that not all plaque is created equal. You have two types, hard calcified plaque and soft vulnerable plaque. The hard plaque is stable, but the soft plaque is the killer. It's filled with inflammatory cells and is prone to rupture leading to a blood clot, which causes most heart attacks and strokes. The good news is that when you aggressively apply the right treatments, your body prioritizes stabilizing and shrinking that soft, dangerous plaque first. Think of the soft plaque like an active volcano. It's highly unstable. Our goal isn't just to cover that volcano with concrete, stabilize it, but to shrink the magma chamber beneath it, reverse the buildup. We achieve this by focusing on three pillars, starting with the most foundational, actively managing your cholesterol metabolism through diet. Our first strategy is purely dietary. Maximize soluble fiber. Soluble fiber found in foods like oats, apples, barley, and beans acts like a sponge in your digestive system. Mechanism, soluble fiber binds to cholesterol and bile acids in your gut, preventing them from being reabsorbed into the bloodstream. Instead, they're flushed out as waste. This forces your liver to pull more cholesterol out of your blood to create new bile acids acids, which directly lowers your LDL, the bad cholesterol. The evidence? Randomized controlled trials that consuming just 5 to 10 grams of soluble fiber daily can reduce LDL cholesterol by 5 to 11 points. This is a vital first step in starving the plaque. Here's an actionable tip. Start your day with a bowl of oatmeal. You've just hit 3 grams of your goal before lunch. Our second strategy targets the cleanup crew. High intensity interval training, HIIT. Why not just walk? Well, while walking is great to actively shrink the plaque, we need to optimize HDL, the good cholesterol. HDL is the garbage truck. It takes cholesterol out of the artery walls and carries it back to the liver for disposal. This process is called reverse cholesterol transport. Mechanism of action? Intense exercise, like HIT has been shown to significantly increase both the quantity and the functionality of HDL particles. It turns the garbage truck into a highly effective, fast-moving fleet. Here's the how-to. Do short bursts of intense effort, 30 to 60 seconds, like sprinting upstairs or jumping jacks, followed by a rest period. Do this for 10 to 15 minutes, three times a week. This is a direct tool to actively reverse plaque formation. We've starved the plaque with fiber and turned on the cleanup crew with HIT. Now for the essential element, to address arterial calcification. This brings us to our third crucial strategy, a supplement that addresses the stiffness caused by calcified plaque. The essential supplement is vitamin K2. Minaquinone. The aha moment? While vitamin D is important, it needs a partner. Vitamin K2 is the traffic cop that directs calcium. Without enough K2, calcium often deposits in soft tissues like your artery walls, leading to dangerous calcification and stiffness. The mechanism? K2 activates a protein called MGP, which is the most potent inhibitor of soft tissue calcification known. When activated, MGP pulls calcium out of the arteries and directs it into the bones and the teeth where it belongs. The takeaway? K2 works to clean up the hard, old debris while fiber and exercise tackle the soft, dangerous plaque. This is a comprehensive three-step plan. 
fiber to starve the plaque, HIT to clean it up, and K2 to soften the arteries. If you're currently taking a statin or any heart medication, do not stop or change your dose without consulting your physician. This is critically important. These strategies are meant to amplify your doctor's treatment plan, so discuss it with them. I've linked resources for soluble fiber calculators and specific vitamin K2 supplement recommendations in the description below. If you found this information empowering, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Your heart health is a journey not a destination. I'm Dr. John Chuback, and I'll see you soon.